Hello and welcome to your Wednesday core workout. So the core, I'm going to be using the zip and the hollow, again from that lower part of your pelvis into the waistband, that nice girdle across the front, that really keeps my back nice and safe. Then I've got the belly button pull in as well, and I've got that rib cage coming down towards my waist, which also pulls my shoulders back and down. So remember the core is that complete circle of those torso muscles, which lets your arms and legs do the things that they're meant to be doing off of. So today I'm going to be using bands. I'm going to be using a medium to heavy long band and a medium to heavy short band as well. And you'll need a bottle of water, a mat, and enough room to move about in. Okay, so you've got those things, just grab them. We will be working in a 45-15 circuit, and we'll be doing four exercises of the same before we move on. So where there's alternate arms and legs to use, that's what we'll be doing. Okay, if you're ready to go, we're just gonna grab that warm up and just get that little point out with the toe. Okay, bringing the arms up. Good, so already feel that squeeze between the shoulder blades. Opening out the ankle. Lovely, good. Now I'm going to bring that knee up. Feel like you're pushing your arms down through the air. Good, push it down. To your point. Now I'm going to use the arms. Out and in. So just squeeze them in. Filling those lats. Get that bit of work. Lovely, good. I'm going to come over, over, and drop. Lovely, good. Into that like, little curtsy lunge. Good, just stretching out the front of that thigh. Now I'm going to leave my legs out. Go to get that wrong. Lovely, good, then the other way. So feel it in the backs of the legs, a little bit on the inside thigh. Lovely, good. I'm going to be here. Little runner. Up with that leg. On your front leg the whole time. Lovely, good. And then I'm going to plant that down. Feel that there is a little bit of a stretch going on into that heel. And I'm isolating that arm. Lovely, good. I'm going to turn it round. I'm going to do it on the other side. Coming up. All that weight on the front leg. Then I put that heel into the floor. I'm nice and strong. I'm just isolating that shoulder. Rib cage down and in. Well done, I'm going to do a step touch. Out and back, then make that into a leg curl. Good, and get those arms. So just cross over, then shoulders pull down, so I've used my pegs to get my arms to cross each other. Now the step touch, little circle. Lovely, good. Just nice and loose with the shoulders. Lovely, good. Still with those arms, just getting those hamstrings, tighten up, bring that leg up. Well done. I'm going to come forward into a little V-step. Wide at the front, narrow at the back. Drop. Up. Good. Down, down. Up, up. Let's change it over to the other leg. Other leg leads. Lovely. Good. Keep the arms moving. Just feel loose through the shoulders. You can pick those elbows up, but feel that your core is pulled in already. Letting those arms do what they're meant to be doing. Lovely. Good. Well done. Up on the toes. Opening out the ankles. Still up on the toes. Arms coming in. Feel that little stretch between the shoulder blades without your shoulders coming too far forward. Lovely, good. I'm going to get that drop down. My hips already gone back. And then I get that drop. Still straight legs coming up. So really keep that zip and hollow arm. Squeeze those glutes at the end. And up. I'm going to do a squat with the knee up. Squat, knee up. Lovely, good. Down, up. Go down on the floor. Push through those glutes. That'll be what you'll be using first. And one more. And well done. Just give it a little shake off. Okay, my first one. I'm going to be using my band. I stand in the middle of my band. So it's on the floor there. Just standing in the middle of it. Then I have to get my elbows through here, so my upper back has to really work on this. My core is going to keep me pulled in. I'm going to do a squat and a lift. Okay, are we ready? So, when we get ready to go from that five, five. Okay, elbows go through. Okay, so down and push up. Lovely, good. Push. Those come all the way up. 
lovely. The intensity is going to work for me here because we'll be basically doing four minutes of work using my glutes, but not forgetting that my core helps my back to stay straight and even that upper back on that core, shoulders pull back down and in. Lovely, good. And push. Really feel those hips come forward into that band. So the band ends up going down the sides of your legs. Lovely, good. You can let it go for 15 seconds. And again, really feel shoulders back and down. My core's pulled in the whole time. So I know that I've got that strength going through there as well. Okay, three, two, one. My elbows go through. Now do that lift. And push it up. Lovely, good. Good, you can do that breathe out if that helps on the way up. Really burn back, squeezing those glutes. Let all of that body work for you. Pushing up through your heels. Lovely, good. Not rolling over as you go down. That's it, good. Don't let that back become rounded off on that lower section. Keeping it strong. Down into single figures now on your second one of your two minutes. Lovely, good. And well done. You can take water whenever you want to. But for here, I'm just keeping that core pulled in and really refocusing every time on what's going on. I get down, put my elbows through. Here we go. My third minute out of my four. And push up. Lovely, good. Well done. Drop and lift. that squeeze. Lovely, good. Think about each one being a good one. We're going into single figures now. Really having to focus on putting my shoulder blades back down my back with my lats doing the work. Three, two, one. Well done. Okay, one more to go, and you finish that first four minutes. You're doing good, especially if you kept with that band work. Again, you can always widen the legs slightly, which will increase the intensity on the band, and you'll feel that as you go to get up. Lovely, good, push. Keeping those elbows through the bands each time. So those bands just travel down by the tops of my arms, down into underneath my foot, Lovely, good. So again, you can try that a little bit wide if you want to. Just make it harder on this last one. Lovely, good. And get me that squeeze to the top. Lovely, good. Three, two, one. And good work, well done. Just let those wrists get a little flick off there. That's it, good. My next one is the lunge. It goes under one foot. So remember the core here is going to keep your, in just a nice L shape. So we're gonna come up, we're gonna do the lunge and we come up. So there's, those get longer each time, those bands as we get that lift up. Are we ready to go? We'll be going from five, five. Just choose one leg, choose the L, so it's here, and then I drop, and I lift up. Lovely good. If you prefer, if your hands get a little bit tired on that, you can do it, what I call, feeding up from the bottom to the top. Lovely good. Now again, thinking about all the things that are coming into co to play here. Your core, pulling your shoulder blades down. That front leg, getting that push up. Those bands are getting harder as I get to the top and that's where I lift the other leg using that hip flexor good and make sure each lunge is a good one never let those bands go floppy even down here where you're low keep that tension on the bands your arms are going to be working all the way through three two one good work well done I put the other one through I check that my hands 
again, because as they go through from your thumb to your forefinger too much, it does get a bit sore on that. So I'm going down with the other leg, with my L, with my arms. A drop and a lift. And a lift up. Lovely, good. Shoulders back and down. On my second leg now. Lovely, good. You don't have to hurry these, remember. There's a lots of work to be done at both ends of these. Down into your lunge, and then up, using that other glute, using my core, keep me nice and straight all the time. My shoulders back and down. My head in line with my spine. Good work, well done. So again, just look at something in front of you. My biceps, getting that work as well. Especially now that I've done it nearly two minutes through. Here we go, three, two, one. Good work, well done. We know what we're doing now, so we've got that second leg to do, or back to the first leg second time. Okay, my L with my arms. So again, I can feel that tension on my arms already. And then drop, and get me that lift. Lovely, good, drop. My band's still tight here. Good, don't let your bands go floppy. If you've got too much, then you can really tighten those bands. You'll notice it in the upper back work that you have to do. Lovely, good, tap that down. Push through that leg and up. Lovely, good. Make each one a good one now. Good, well done. Second and last time you'll be on this leg before we change over to our last minute. So you're doing really well, good job. That's it, drop and push up. And good work, well done. My last four minutes, or well, my last minute or my four minutes is gonna be on that other leg. Are we ready to go? I get it into that L. Okay, I go down and push up. Lovely, good. So my core all the way through, my upper back, my mid back, into my lower back, into my glutes, down to my legs. It's all working for me. Lovely, good. My sip and hollow is on at the front. Rib cage pull down towards my waist. Good, so now I'm not going to use my back to get up here. I have to push through that leg. Lovely, good. Up. Up. Three, two, one. Lovely, good. On two. My last bit of standing one. Here, as I lunge, my arms go out. If you've got a ponytail, just top, tip the back of your ponytail. Okay, so I'm in a lunge. As I go down into my lunge, I widen those arms. I come up. Good, so again, it's out. Try not to get in the habit of it going back like this. That's not the exercise, that's not what I want. I really want that band to expand and you drop into that lunge. So this time the expansion is at the bottom of the lunge, not the top. Good, one leg, all the way down and up. My core really pulled in now. Think about where those rib cages are, especially as your arms come up. You want it low. And good work, well done. Just change your legs. So I wait for those beats, I put those arms over my head. I can feel it in my shoulders, but really, it's all about the core here. Okay, dropping it down. And up, that's it, good. Yeah, your body just has to do that little check through that you've now on a different side. Lovely, good. And I'm getting it out and down each time, those long arms. Remember long levers, hard work. Lovely, good. Good work. Dropping it down, pulling it out. Feeling strong all the time. Core always pulled in. Three, two, one. And well done. Are we ready for our last 
leg on this side. So I'm just working that leg back. So I know it's gonna be a comfortable drop down lunge. Lovely, good. So I'm dropping right down through the middle. The arms are coming out. Just brushes my head as I go past. So again, I really keep it close to me. Lovely, good. If you want a little bit of extra work, obviously, you pull in more band. Lovely, good. Make them work right to the very end. Good. So you get that lift, 
Other hand can be here. Try not to put it here too much because you not only twist through your hips, but you land too much on that arm. So if you can, keep your balance or just keep your hip down and do me that oyster. Lovely, good. Good, give me that squeeze. Legs are working for me and they can do that because I've got my core pulled in, hip to hip. Hips are in the right position each time. Three, two, one. Good work, well done. I'm leaving that band there. I'm coming over into a bridge here. My feet are outside of my hips, but they're back underneath my knee. I'm going to come up, I'm going to hold that bridge. My head comes up, my left hand goes behind my head, and I get that squeeze on my right oblique. Now, this is about keeping that core pulled in, so I'm not overextending my back. It stays nice and steady, almost like a straight line, if you can imagine it, from your knee down into your shoulder, and then you get that turn. Give me that squeeze, up and over. Squeeze it for me. Lovely, good, so my right oblique, Getting my left elbow to come over. Give me that squeeze. So, stabilization's going on. Also through my back, stabilization. And then contracting on that oblique. Three, two, one. You can drop it until you hear those beeps again. Come up, keep that tension on the bands. And you can't come up very far with that other elbow. So I'm getting my right hand this time behind my head. Three, two, one. Up I come. Other arm can just be out of the way, somewhere, whatever's handy for you, or comfortable for you. All the time, I'm checking my bridge though. My core pulled in, hip to hip. Lovely, good, so you feel that strength, and then that oblique can work. Otherwise, you'll end up dropping that hip, and then sort of using your body instead of your oblique. That's it good. So again, this time, my left set of obliques at the front here, bringing my right elbow up and over. Glutary feeling this now. They not only worked that last session, they worked this session, the outsides of my thighs still as well. Keep that band, keep that tension on the band. Three, two, one. That's it. If you cannot, go let your um, knees sort of try to sink in. Okay, are we ready to go again? So, feel yourself off the floor, get that zip and hollow on, get the head up, and then the elbow coming over. Lovely, good. Out with those knees. Keep them in line if you can with your heels. Remember your heels are wider than your hips. And then that zip and hollow is on. Keep my hips up high without overextending them. And then my oblique can do its work. Bringing my elbow up and over. Lovely, good. Outside the thighs, glutes, all those things working because I've got my core under control. Three, two, one. Lovely, good. Ready for your last one? Okay, coming up, head up. Lovely, good, and go across. Good, give me that squeeze. Over. Feel that outside of the thigh still working for you. Your bridge is still up high and it's still even, even though I'm taking one shoulder off the floor. Remember, the head never hits the floor, just the shoulder. Good, you have got 20 seconds left. That bridge is still up high. Work it, good. Good, squeeze it for me. Up and over. Three, two, one. Good work, well done. I'm taking that band off. I come up and I'm going to do tricep kickback. My hands are in that band. My thumb is free. I lean slightly forward. 
and then it's going to be about keeping that tension not only on the outside of the arms by keeping those arms out those fingers out wide but doing that kick back and you'll know you're always in the perfect position because that thumb always comes back to your lower back are we ready to go okay here we go and kicking it back that's it lovely just kicking it back for me each time hands are through thumb you can sit right back if you're okay with your knees being open like that lovely good and I get right to the very end before I come back in again so slower on the way out and hold than on the way back in and then my thumb just hits back it's going to really tell after your four minutes of work on these triceps good but well, we want to work that upper arm lovely good into single figures last three three two one lovely good give them a little jiggle around let them just relax off and then I put those hands in again then the hands go around to the back my thumbs already popped on my lower back my fingers out wide so there's tension on the outsides of those arms so I do feel it through my upper arm as well through my outside of my shoulder good there's tension on that band don't let it just go floppy that's it lovely good keep that tension the whole time lovely good you can be up if you want to but do, do lean forward because then you know your elbow and your shoulder are at the same height if I come up too high I won't be able to get it all the way back so do lean forward a bit or sit back whatever's comfortable for your knees good we're halfway through with this one then three two one good work well done 15 seconds and we go again onto our last two sets of this tricep kickback okay three two one here we go get that kick back lovely good and you have to lock those elbows lovely good so whereas sometimes when I have a weight the work is through the front of the shoulder this time is through the outside of the shoulder and really working that full shoulder cap muscle down into your triceps to get that lift lovely good in your teens now because remember you're third out of four so you're doing great well done I know it's now getting tiring on your triceps if we can stick with it make each one a good one three two one well done are we ready for our last four minutes just get that little shake out of those arms good kind of a little bit of forward movement before i have to go back into that backward movement are we ready for our fourth final round of our triceps here we go and do that kick back for me good kicking it back lovely kick that's it good so just checking that position each time lovely good we are down to 15 seconds now I know it's really beginning to tell now but make each one a good one that's it really lock the elbows off that's it good don't try not to take any shortcuts now five four three two one oh well done I'm proud of you for going all the way through that lovely good okay we're going to keep that short band but I'm also going to need to do the long band on that last set as well so my first one my longer band is ready to work for me as well my short band underneath my insteps I'm down on the floor lovely good and I'm getting that push out so remember my core is here helping me my front of thigh okay are we ready to go five four three two one here we go your last six minutes lovely good now think about your core hip to hip really pushing out with that leg if you feel you can't go very low you can do it higher if you want to that front leg still gets the work done good so again I've got that 
one tucked in just into the lip of your trainer there and then push and as that long leg extends you remember glutes but also my core and again front of that thigh it's just a little bit of a move forward can't move too far forward my hips there but it's keeping that tension on the band lovely good you can drop it down before you change it over Again, core pulled in, rib cage down and in, belly button pulled in. Okay, up. And here we go. And pushing away. I've now changed legs. So again, just get those muscles, get that nerve pattern going down into that core, into the other leg. So everything knows what it's doing. Lovely, good. And that zip and hollow is on. Lovely, good. So again, nice to get that leg extended. So we push through that glute. Lovely, good. Out and push. Lovely. Front of my thigh, really feeling it now. On that other one. Three, two, one. Good work, well done. Two more minutes to go. One on one leg, one on the other. You're doing good. Okay, as soon as I start to lift my legs, I really think about my zip and hollow being on and pushing away. Lovely, good. So my first leg, the one I started with, and pushing out with the other leg. Good. Really think zip and hollow, hip to hip. Everything else should be on the floor, it should be stable. Lovely, good. Kicking it back and out.
try to keep my shoulders in line with my body. Good. And as I roll, I really feel that nice almost stretch out over that lower part of my back, over the vertebrae there as you roll down, you roll back up. Lovely, good. I'm just coming up to stay before I go again. Third out of four. Well done. Good work. Okay, I'm getting a little roll down, roll back up again. Okay, lovely. Rolling down. And give me that squeeze. Lovely, good. Drop. And up. Good, give me that squeeze back. change this now to my last two exercises behind my head. Remember it's like a swimming cap behind your head. Now let your head relax in that position. Put your feet a little bit further out and I'm going to do a sit up. I'm going to have two minutes of sit ups. Lovely, good. Because this is your last exercise, just two minutes. That squeeze. Lovely. Now you have to think about your back of your neck being relaxed. Your triceps will have work to do because I'm not pulling my head up, I'm just supporting my head. So it's a really good one for those people who feel that they get too much of an ache on the back of their necks when they do a sit up. I'm still getting my shoulders off the floor. I'm going to keep going, I'm going to ignore that little rest. I'm just doing two minutes of sit-ups. Lovely, good. Let that head be rested in that band. Just slightly forward. Remember that chin near the chest, but not on the chest. Lovely, good. I've got one more minute to go. Lovely, good. Get those long abs to work for you. By now, your back of your arms will feel the weight of that head if you've really relaxed that head into that band. Good work. Give me that lift. Good. And up. Lovely, good. We're going to ignore those last little beeps and work right through to the end. So I have them two minutes solid on my long abs, those sit-ups. Here we go, 15 seconds to go now. Lovely, getting those shoulder blades off the floor. My arms now are protesting because the weight of my head in them the whole time. Three, two, one. And good work, well done. Okay, lovely, you can stay where you are. That long band is gonna help me to do my stretches out. So here we go. And well done. I'm just gonna put something a little bit slower on. And here we go, just into our last little bit your stretches out. So you're just going to lie back on your back and you've got that lifting with your leg. That's it, good. And then we're going to slowly pull that leg in. Lovely, good. On most of those it was that four minutes of work. that hamstring stretch. Lovely, good. I'm going to let that one go off. Change it at the top. Let that weight of that leg, if you can, again, a bit like the back of your neck, you can get that hip flexor relax off. Then it's like somebody else doing the stretch for you, but it's the arms that are pulling that leg in. So remember, I've not got the elbows up and out. Good. I can relax 
that off slightly so the foot comes over my hip. I'm coming up to look at it, I pull my abs in, I keep that hold on the leg and the leg brings me up. And I'm going to do a glute stretch sitting up. So one leg out, the other leg over it, my foot on the floor, up nice and high, right on those bottom bones like we did on the upright row. And then I'm going to open that chest out and pull that knee across or hug it into my opposite side of my chest. Whilst I'm opening out the chest, I'm staying up nice and tall and I'm getting that twist. Lovely, good, coming down. Leg goes out, cross over, come up, and then nice and tall on those bottom bones. That's it, good. And pulling that leg over, so you've really got food, got that glute stretch going on. A little bit of stretch out through my obliques there, over my rib cage, then out through my chest as I get that nice turn. Lovely, good. I'm coming over to my front. Just in a box, do the cat cow stretch. So I'm here, and I'm just going to tip up and tip back. And again, and back. I'm going to do one more. Lovely, good. Before I go into dropping down into that front of thigh stretch. Remember your weights here. Just keep on sinking with that weight. Sip and hollow on the whole time. Lovely, good. Change it over onto the other side. Just take that sinking down into it. Lovely, good. I'm going to come into that downward dog. Feet wide. Remember, wider if you want to feel that you really want to get back onto your heels. And if it goes straight behind you, sometimes you feel you can't. So again, there, we're going to give you a much better stretch. Your head is down, you walk back, you can bend your knees, and then unroll coming up. Lovely, good. Those triceps. I'm just going to do a quick tricep stretch on each side. Really feel that you've got that rib cage down and in. You've got that heel pushed into the floor. And that tricep. Lovely, good. Onto the other side, into the floor, lift, over the back. Lovely, good. I'm going to do one little scoop down, little scoop down, and come up, reach up nice and tall. Lovely, good. Then down into the middle, um, and then down again. Lovely, good. I hope you enjoyed that. I enjoyed teaching it to you. And remember, what I always say about the bands. They're a great piece of equipment. Not only are they relatively cheap to buy, you can take them anywhere with you. And as you can see, you can really work your core when you focus on those and on your resistance and getting those legs and arms to do what you might be doing off your core. Okay, I will see you again next time. And I hope you enjoyed that. Bye-bye for now.